This is basically, we're going to show you how to uh, stop this unwanted behavior, high energy, um, jumping behavior, soon right there. I'm letting everything go right now. I normally will not do that. But that's just so I can show you how to stop it. Uh, we can get Toby to do it, so we'll try her. So what I'm going to do, right now I'm just kind of hanging on for dear life. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to do is just like this. If I actually get a hold of the uh, lead here, stand on the lead where it's nice and tight. And it's tight, not holding her to the ground, but tight enough where she jumps, she doesn't jerk herself back down. Or if she lunges, she doesn't hurt herself. Now I'm standing on it, because I want the pressure on the back of her head with bone and muscle, not on her throat, because she is a little wild right now. And what I'm doing is I'm forcing her to calm down. I'm just letting her know, hey, rules are started. This behavior gets you nothing. As soon as you're calm, I'll let you, I'll let you have a little bit more freedom, okay? So she's trying every which way to get her, her, uh, her way by, um, pulling and jumping, etc. And I want to let her know, this is just isn't what we do. When she's calm, I'll start talking to her. Um, she's not quite there yet. When she does inappropriate behaviors as well, I'll tell her I like that. Good girl, good job. Yeah, no. I told her good, she started to misbehave, so I uh, told her no. Good girl, no. Good. No, good girl. Good, no. Okay, so she started to calm, you can see it works pretty quickly here. Uh, I'm going to give her a little bit of freedom and see what she does. If she misbehaves again, then I will go back to uh, standing on the lead. Um, anytime she jumps, I'm going to tell her no, like in our previous video, and uh, then tell her yes as soon as she quits. Right, Daisy? Hey, hey, good girl. No, no, no. Good. Good job. Ah, no. Good. Now, again, this feels counterproductive because she's jumping, failing, and then fixing it, and we reward her. But I want to show you how many reps this takes and how actually um, useful this tool is. Hi, how are you? No, 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 no. Good. No. Good. Yes, very good. That was a good sign there. She actually jumped over it and she goes, oh my gosh, I better not touch him. That's kind of what she's calling me no for. And I told her that was a good job because she started to have some inhibition of jumping, okay? Right, Daisy? Jump here, how about it? No. Good. Hey, right here. Good choice. She's choosing not to touch me. That's a, that's a plus. She doesn't fully understand don't jump at all yet because she's just too wound up. But sometimes this happens, so I want you to see live how to handle this. Hi, how are you? Good girl, very good. Yes, good girl. So I am treating her for not jumping, and she is a little erratic. Does she associate that as, hey, you're being, uh, you're misbehaving, you're acting crazy, you get a treat? No, she actually calmed herself down. There she's even choosing to sit. I'm gonna give her treats for that. Again, it sounds counterintuitive, because she just failed, and now we're treating her. What's going on? Ah, no, good. There's a short little time uh, between there where she goes, oh, better not do that, or I better calm down and just think for a moment. Yes, and maybe sit, good job. Good girl, here. And I'm rewarding her for that, right, Daisy? Right, Daisy, good girl, good job. You see how she's holding back now. She's actually choosing not to jump. She goes, I really want to, but I know he's not gonna give me treats. As soon as she, you know, calmed down, she popped around a little bit over here, I still reward her because I'm telling her, staying off of me is the desired goal, number one. Goal number two will be, let's not do this, um, let's not jump, period. And then third goal is let's calm ourselves all the way down, okay? Good girl, how are you? How are you? Come here. Good. No. Not, no, 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 no. Good. No. Good. Very good. No. Good. And every bad behavior I'm getting is a no, and as soon as she fixes it, yes. No. Good. Nope. If she catches herself and hangs herself up, that's, I like to hold the leash like this. I'm not lifting her by any means. I'm holding it where it's uncomfortable. When she quits fighting me, I'll let her go. So that way, if she understands jumping gets me caught like this, that's uncomfortable. Now, I'm not hurting her. I just kind of held on. She goes, wait a sec, I'll stop fighting it. I slowly removed it. It's more comfortable if she does calm down. Right, Daisy? Come here. No. Nope. Good. No. Good. Good, good girl. Good job. Very good. Here we go. Good. All right. Hi, how are you? No, 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 no. no. She kind of caught herself again, so you just kind of hold it. It slips out, not a big deal. How are you? No, 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 no. Here's another punishment technique you can start adding when she understands. I'm just kind of holding onto her feet and kind of dancing her around. Now, I'm not pulling hard. You can see she's fighting me. As soon as she quits fighting me, I let her go. The idea there is that I want her to understand if she gets jumps up, she might get caught like she's doing right now. I'm just holding steady. She's doing the jumping. When she quits, calms down. Good things happen. She comes unhooked. Uh, I'll let her go. You saw so she's kind of nipping at me. The idea is I want her to think, I'm going to jump, but wait a second. If I jump, I might get stuck. Maybe I shouldn't jump. How are you? Good girl. And there you saw the, the quick repercussions of that. She goes, wait a second, I'm not gonna get too close. I don't want to jump on Austin. Now, if I don't let her jump, but somebody else does, one other person, she's gonna say, well, hey, it was fine with them. What's the problem? Why can't I jump on you? 
Or more importantly, this is even worse, is if I don't let her jump but one time out of a million, she's gonna say, well, it was fine yesterday, why isn't it okay today? And she'll keep trying until she realizes that the rules um, cannot be broken, or that they can be broken. So I want you to be very critical that you make sure we tell her jumping is never okay, period, no matter how many times she does. Even if you're on the phone, if you do one of these, uh, you know, or tell somebody, hold on, my dog's jumping, I'm gonna take care of it real quickly. Come here, sweetheart, how are you? Good, you see how she's um, uh, kind of getting away from me rather than jumping, she wanted to jump, she says, wait a second, I better back off. Come here, good, no, good. Good job, very good, nope, good. No. Good. And all this as many times as it takes until she quits that jumping. Hi. Nope. No, 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 no. Hey, come on. I'm just kind of wheelbarrowing her, wheelbarrowing her around. I want to be not fun. She stops licking on me and biting me. Good girl. Let her do it. No, no, no. She does it again. I'll do it again. I know it looks ridiculous. It's very powerful. Try it again. Come here. No, 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 no. Nope. So I'm not holding tight. I'm not hurting her. I'm just holding her up. As soon as she stops mouthing me. Ah. Nope. I'll uh I'll let go. Good. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Sit. Very good. The next step too, after all these bad behaviors, once we get her calm down, is to start instilling calmness and instilling self-control. She has a hard time with this, as you can tell. So uh, we're not ready for that yet. I need to get her to, to the point of kind of worn out and understanding the rules are the rules. She has a lot of willpower. Good girl. No, 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 no. And you see, she kind of tucked her paws like she knew I was gonna grab her. Right here. It's okay. You can come here without jumping. Come here. No. Good girl. Good job. You see, she's naturally bringing it in herself. She's already learning a bit of self control. That jumping thing really isn't fun. I've made it every which way uncomfortable for her, not, not painful. I don't want to hurt her. Um, because you see, I made her a little bit uncomfortable by holding her hands and she nibbled on me. If I, if I hurt her, if you hurt her, that may turn into a bad bite. I don't want you to get hurt. And obviously, I don't want to hurt the dog. That's the most important thing. Hey, how are you, sweetie pie? Good girl. Now she's choosing the behavior. I didn't even ask her to sit at first when she did this. I have since. But the idea here is that she goes, I'm just going to sit. I'm going to try anything. And I said, good girl, and gave her a treat. She's like, well, wait a second. Every time I jump, I get yelled at and in trouble. But every time I sit, whether he asks for it or not, I get a treat, and he pets me and praises me and lets me go. Heck yeah. That is what I want her thinking. We need to change that idea. If I jump, I get their attention. Now it's if I sit, I get their attention. OK, come here. How are you, sweetie pie? Come here. Here. Good job. You see her, she, she's avoiding me a little bit. She thinks I'm going to grab her legs. But I'm just going to love on her a little bit and let her know, hey, I'm not trying to grab her legs because you're not jumping. She's actually the baby. 